Thanks for joining us for a series of informative videos by Battlefront, the Big History Group Malta. My name is Gianluca, and today we're going to kick off uh, a series uh, of videos covering a very interesting subject, but one that is often underestimated, and that is British shell and cartridge casings. Something that might not always be of monetary value nowadays, but that is very relatable to us. In Maltese flea markets, it is extremely common to come across um, these types of historical artifacts. Unfortunately, we often underestimate these artifacts. We might end up having them at home, polishing them, which is something that might have a negative effect on their, on their historical value, uh, using them as umbrella stands and so on. And so we at Battlefront actually thought it would be a good idea to try and raise the awareness about these historical artifacts, to try and uh, increase their appreciation uh, by the public by putting them in historical context. And um, we're going to start with something that is uh, very, which is a very strong part of so-called Maltese collective memory in the Second World War. And that is the Ordnance Quick Firing 3.7 inch anti-aircraft gun. Here next to me I have uh, an example of a shell casing of this particular gun. Just to give you an idea first, the history of the gun itself, as explained at the beginning of this video, uh, the 3.7 inch anti aircraft gun entered service in 1937 with the armed forces of the British Commonwealth. And in that service, it replaced the uh, 3 inch 20 counterweight anti aircraft gun. Uh, the gun has a caliber of 94 millimeters, and we'll be talking about that in, in, in more detail uh, in a few minutes. But first, the history of the gun itself. So basically, uh, not only in the British Empire, but uh, throughout the British Empire, but even in Malta itself, uh, this gun was a very common sight, particularly entering 1942, when we had um, 112 anti-aircraft guns in Malta at some point in 1942, and most of these were actually 3.7-inch guns. As a heavy anti-aircraft gun, it was vital for engaging bombers and high-altitude aircraft, where um, lighter uh, anti-aircraft guns, almost as famous, if not more famous, than the 3.7-inch gun is the 40mm Bofors, for example, which had a limited ceiling, whereas the 3.7-inch gun could actually reach a ceiling of approximately 30,000 feet, which translates to 9 kilometers. Uh, the gun was supplemented uh, in the same role by other guns, including the older 3-inch 20 counterweight anti-aircraft gun, and also the 4.5-inch anti-aircraft gun, which was, however, uh, quite scarce in Malta, um, as far as I know, only four of them actually were on the island, um, whereas the 3.7-inch gun was much more common. And so was pretty much the workhorse of Mota Coman um, during the years of the war here. The gun was naturally employed um, surrounding the harbor area, but also the airfields. And uh, by taking the measurement of any cartridge case, uh, one finds it rather easy to try and deduce exactly what caliber he's, he's looking at. Um, in particular, we know that the metric designation for the 3.7-inch uh, gun, and obviously its shell, is of 94 by 675R. So, 94 and 675, it's in millimeters. 94 refers to the 94 millimeters of uh, neck diameter of the casing. 675 millimeters is the length of the shell, whereas R meaning rim, uh, refers to the rim present at the bottom of the casing. However, some calibers, including this one, just by looking at the bottom of the rim, one finds it rather easy to sometimes be able to tell what kind of cartridge is just by looking at it, because it's usually marked. And that is no different than the 3.7-inch uh, shell. If you're interested in further reading, uh, the number, there are a number of sources uh, that are very helpful if one needs to do research or find out more about the 3.7 inch anti aircraft gun or even uh, the service of this particular artillery piece in the Maltese Islands during the Second World War. A very important primary source is a book called The Guns of Hajar In by Stanley Fraser, who was himself a gunner on uh, a 3.7 inch anti aircraft gun uh, in Malta, specifically the battery lying between the megalithic temple of Hajar In and the village of Rendi. And it is a very interesting source as far as personal accounts um, in Malta are concerned, and specifically on, serv on servicing an anti aircraft gun. Yeah. An interesting secondary source, also, is a very important source as well, is the work of Dennis Rodo, the Guns and Gunners of Malta. 
which concerns obviously um, World War II guns and uh, military units uh, servicing these guns, but also uh, pretty much the story of the British gunner on Malta, so naturally throughout the entirety of British rule. Okay, so from the start of the 19th century all the way, pretty much until Maltese independence.